So we are live now. You can hear me, right? Yes. Yeah. So welcome to the day two of fourth edition of Health Tech, uh, presented to you by the Bengal Chamber of Commerce in Industry and Medical Super Specialty Hospital. So we have a team from First and Sullivan. Uh, speaking, sharing their insights on Korea's K Korean Tan ICT Solution 2020. We have with us Mr. Sejin Park, Country Head, Korea, Foston Sullivan, and member of Advisory Committee, COTRA, that is Korea Trade Investment Promotion Agency. Dr. Manuel Theodet, Associate Director, Foston Sullivan from Tokyo, and uh, Mr. Sejin Park is from Seoul, and Mr. Shitij. It runs ICT head Foston Sullivan from Kuala Lumpur. With this, I would request Dr. Manuel Theodor to please take the session forward. Thank you, Agana. Let me share my screen. So good uh, morning or good afternoon, everyone. I'm going to talk to you about the Korea's K-Quarantine ICT Solution 2020. But before that, I would like to invite uh, Mr. Sejun Park to make a quick introduction word. So Mr. Sejun Park is a Korea head of Frost and Sullivan and a trusted advisor to Korea organization and public sectors agencies. His focus is not only to support foreign companies looking to get into Korea, but also to support international expansion of trusted Korean technologies. Sejun, hand over to you. Thank you, uh, Manuel. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm truly honored to be here today, joining virtually from Seoul, to be given the opportunity to present Korea's K-Quarantine ICT solution. Korea was one of the first countries hit by COVID-19, with its first case recorded in January 2020. And only a month after, we have witnessed over 900 cases infected. However, we have been very successful in handling the crisis in the early stage, where we were able, able to quickly flatten the curve down to around 100 cases in March. So how can Korea have done it? We have, as a country, a particular strategy towards this. The key basic principle has been openness, transparency, and fully keeping the public informed, which has been enabled by the technology, and this helped Korea in keeping lower fertility rates. So we were about 0.7% uh, compared to global average of 3.4%. So by successfully implementing k quarantine ICT solution, which is based on test, trace, and test epidemic prevention structure, we could have well responded to the crisis, which enabled us to return to normal condition without a complete lockdown. This success is largely due to extensive deployment in usage of technology solutions to trace infections and to reinforce self-quarantine in suspected or early stage cases. COVID-19 is not just about us because we are a country that is highly interdependent with the rest of the world. So we want to keep the doors open with all countries. We hope sharing our experience and our approach not only informs other countries dealing with COVID-19, but also lead to a greater international collaboration. Even beyond COVID-19, that can come also around next time. Frost and Sullivan has been appointed and authorized by the Korean government for the purpose of supporting Korea's k quarantine ICT solution and initiating the discussion globally. So please feel free to reach out to us for any further discussion for our next steps together. Thank you once again for inviting us to fourth edition of Healthcare Virtual Conclave. I hope everyone in this event and all India to stay safe and strong. Thank you. So over to you, Manuel. Thank you, Satan. So my talk today will be about the presentation of K-Quarantine ICT Solution 2020, as you already understood. I want to show you, uh, to talk about that solution, what it is, where it comes from, explain 
the benefits and rationals behind that solution. And then we'll see together how we can implement that solution if you were interested and what would be the next step between you and uh, the Korean, co Korean government. Sorry. <clears throat> so Korea uh, is at the state of the art for what is related to smart city related technologies. And they have been developing using that knowledge that they have developed for smart cities to uh, create that K-Quarantine ICT solution 2020 that enabled the country to, um, to master the automation of epidemiologic investigation process, which were successful in decreasing the spread of COVID-19 by using high technology such as artificial intelligence to collect, to process, to analyze a huge volume of data. The idea behind uh, the Korean government is to keep three or four key principles. The first one being no lockdown, and that, and that is a principle that helped the Korean economy to, um, <clears throat> to stay relatively um, healthy during the year 2020. There is a transparency where the government makes available the data that they have regarding the spread of the, co the COVID-19, as well as the different uh, response and measures that they have implemented. The civic engagement where the citizens is actively proactive in participating in the measures and the solution, and the creativity as well related to smart city technologies that has been enabled to provide a flexible and a quick response to the spread of COVID-19. The solution that Korea is uh, introducing to you today, the K-Quarantine ICT Solution 2020, is made of three different modules. The first module is the Korean Epidemiological Investigation Support System, which is a big data analytic-based system using artificial intelligence to predict um, the clusters of uh, high risk of uh, contamination by the virus, but also the movement of, the, of this virus by the analyze, quick analysis of big volume, huge volume of data provided by, um, by the infected people. There is a QR code based module uh, registry system in the second module where the health authorities can quickly identify when someone is detected as risk, uh, the places where he has been visited and then inform all the people that have been visiting those places and therefore quickly give a response and quickly get those people at risk who have been at risk, uh, quickly get them um, tested and if necessary, uh, quarantine. Which brings me to the third module, which is an application for the self-quarantine monitoring that help the authorities to make sure and to enforce the self-isolation. So the, <clears throat> the person in self-isolation will have the opportunity to provide their, self, uh, their health condition um, through the app to the authorities. And thanks to GPS-based location tracking, the authorities will get to know if the self-isolation is being, is being violated and act consequently. So some of the real impact and uh, noticeable impact of this solution for South Korea came from the, um, the short term of the time that you usually take for the analysis of the movement of confirmed cases. And originally it was a manual analysis that could take up to 24 hours. And in such a situation as an epidemic, we know that time is uh, of utmost importance this automatic analysis could decrease this, the answer of the authorities to 10 minutes only, which helped a quick response and an efficient uh, isolation of the places at risk and of the people that have been contaminated. It also facilitated quick, uh, by computerization and digitalization, it also facilitated the interaction between the different authorities and make um, real, uh, <coughs> information accessible real time between the different organizations, all in the objective to reduce the answer, uh, the response time to the epidemic and the spread, to tackle the spread as uh, quickly as possible. So now I want to 
that was a, a good benefit, but I want to go to some more benefits and rational, and maybe you already have some question in mind regarding um, that solution. And we identified five, um, let's say, five important points uh, of the use of the K-quarantine solution. The first, of course, is the reduction of the stress of, uh, on the frontliners and on the investigation officers, thanks to the automation and the quick um, analysis of huge amount of, of data using artificial intelligence and the prediction that this artificial intelligence can provide. And that's reducing the, the workload of uh, investigation officers, but also it protects, it helps to um, relevantly uh, answer the, the, the cases that are identified and protect the frontliners. It also helped to enforce a strict self-quarantine thanks to the application that I was talking just a bit earlier, with a real-time monitoring and management of the person that are self-isolating, and an alert given to the authorities if this uh, self-isolation was to be violated. But why, <clears throat> why such a strict self-quarantine is to keep the society open. And the, the combination of all those modules enables to estimate precisely where is the cluster, where, uh, where are the place of infection at risk, and to isolate those places rather than isolating an entire city or an entire country. And also to quickly identify the people that have been at risk, to inform them and to take them in charge. There is also, since um, very recently, an add-on for the vaccine monitoring and the tracking of people that have been vaccinated. It goes, of course, beyond COVID-19. COVID-19 is the two days um, issue challenge, but this solution can be applied to any type of epidemics that would come in the near future. Of, of, uh, let's expect not, but it could be applied to any uh, pandemic. Um, and also, very, very important point, and I know in India it can be very sensitive, is their privacy and the data privacy. So it, it is uh, equipped with a very strong, very robust authentication technology to block any intrusion. And the entire system is made that any logging is registered, which prevent misuse of personal information, but also only authorized people from healthcare authorities are allowed to access those data by law. So there is a very strong concern from the Korean citizens and uh, government as well to protect the privacy of its citizens. So this is something that the government has been taking into account. So now what happened uh, if the country is candidate to this solution? Well, Korea will come and work hand-to-hand -hand with you and with your, the real government for a smooth implementation of the technology solution. First, <clears throat> there will be, um, the, we will ensure that the infrastructure of the country is ready to welcome this solution, making sure that everything is already in, pl um, in place or the equipment is ready to, for the implementation of the solution. We could also make sure that the solution could be integrated in the system that already exists in the country. Make sure that the law and regulation of the country authorize the collection and utilization of personal data in the specific case of an epidemic. And that we would have the cooperation from data providers, such as telecom companies or credit card providers. So Korea is providing <clears throat> Uh, a customization and localization of its solution to the country that is candidate to make sure that, for example, the language or the notifications are adapted to the country where uh, who, who has been purchasing the solution. They also provide a system manual and a system training session, and they also provide consulting from their epidemiological investigation, uh, investigation team. The cost that would not be covered by the government, but which is still optional, is the integration in the existing system. And last but not least, the hardware requirements. So the country must make sure that 
the hardware, the minimum hardware required to implement the solution is available in the country. If it is necessary to uh, purchase, to acquire new hardware or additional hardware, that will be a charge of the country itself. But there's a very good re reason behind that, is that all the data that will be stored in servers in the country, and they will stay in the country, they are not going to Korea, if that could be of any, uh, any issue in your mind. <clears throat> so now that you know a little bit more about the technology, this is the, grand, the, the main information. What would be the next step between you and between us? Well, <clears throat> if you are interested in that solution and to know more about it, we would be glad to go for a private conversation, private meeting with you to introduce more in detail the solution and to set a meeting between you and uh, Keia from the, government, the Korean government. The next step would be naturally the signing of a memorandum of understanding between the Korean government and your government, and further would be the signing of a contract with the same uh, government entities. So I want to thank you for the time and for the opportunity to introduce that solution. And again, if you want to know more about that solution, we, you can contact us, uh, Mr. Sajun Park, uh, Mr. Chitish <coughs> Chitranj, or myself. We are, uh, at Frost and Sullivan, we will be very happy to go more in detail with that solution with you. Thank you for your time. Maybe we have some questions. Yes, we do have. I'm not very sure whether this is relevant to this from the audience. What is silo effect? Is it relevant? Would you be able to take it up? Silo effect. I'm not, I'm not sure I talked about that. <laughs> okay. So... Do, do we have a context for, for that question? Okay, never mind. So what do we do is, uh, in case if you have, a, in case you were uh, true with the presentation, we, are, we can wait a couple of minutes for questions. And in the meantime, if you would like to communicate, share some, some more insights, you may please do. And is there any uh, information you would like to share about uh, supply chain distribution of vaccine? So we are not, we are not um, working for the vaccine yet. There's, it's not for the supply chain. The solution would be to um, help identifying people who have already been uh, vaccinated mm. and facilitate their access or facilitate uh, their movement uh, in, in the city and make sure that mm. there are not a uh, potential risk for the rest of the population, which could be very interesting at the t during the campaign of vaccination since, um, as we know, there's only certain um, certain part of the population that are first vaccinated and it will take several months to to get to the herd immunity oh. so that that is a, a good solution to also make sure that uh, there is no risk from the people that we are that are visiting your place or that are uh, going around the around the city and uh, going ahead going forward with uh, uh, with the new normal, how do you think that you know ICT solutions? It's I'm talking mentioning this beyond the COVID situation. How do you think this uh, ICT solutions may help in bringing I know minimum contact or contactless healthcare delivery? Is there any insight you'd like to share on that? So this solution is more about um, identifying their the place that are at risk and um, the, the people that have been contaminated, if they have been in, in, in contact with all the people. So it's more prevention 
okay. and a reaction to a potential risk. Okay. Besides the use of the, of the QR code to help okay. also identify places that, are, that could become at risk because someone confirmed infected would have visited the place. Okay. Um, it is not meant to provide contactless type of, um, of technology or to provide um, a new normal and it's supposed to be activated in only in the case of uh, a pandemic. Okay. But the Korean government and Fukuya as well is working and has a lot of um, technologies related to smart cities. Yeah. And with the with the Society 5.0 coming around, uh, many many uh, solutions have been uh, thought to provide this contactless uh, type of um, of new normal. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> And the, the Korean government is, of, of course, working on, on solutions that are going that way. But they are not part of that uh, key quarantine uh, package, which is really meant for the tackling of um, the pandemic itself and not for the afterlife. And uh, what about the security of the data It is the, which is being amalgamated? Could you, uh, you know, talk about the security aspect? So for the security of the data, um, they are using the the the, the top uh, first. First, there is the regulation. So there is a, a specific law that enables the government, in case of pandemic, to access to pri private data and to um, to use them to in aggregated way to identify uh, places at risk, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And only persons that are uh, authorized. Uh, can log in the system and there is a registration of the log which prevents um, prevent the misuse of those data because everything is registered. Also data are, are, um, let me say, they are um, suppressed after a certain time and they are not kept in, in the memory of the system for over 14 days which is uh, the time that is corresponding to the quarantine. To, uh, I'm going to, to add to what Dr. Manuel mentioned. So the, the data in this case, uh, you know, is hosted in the target country. So in this particular case, it will be hosted in India. Right? It's in the servers, so the government servers. And uh, as Dr. Manuel mentioned, uh, you know, one, the data is anonymized at the very first instance. And for example, if there is a positive case, the case is given a case ID. And then from there on, anybody who is looking at the data is only looking at the case ID. So all the private information of the citizen is protected uh, mm -hmm. and only the relevant people who are supposed to know the information, for example, the healthcare authorities, uh, mm -hmm. get to see that information. So in that sense, uh, the data privacy is protected. Uh, for the security of the system itself, uh, there are robust uh, safeguards in place so that uh, there are anti-hacking uh, you know, prevention mechanisms, uh, which ensure that uh, once uh, once once the data has been stored in the server, uh, there are uh, you know uh, no no uh, body can play mischief with the data which has been stored. Okay, thank you. So, is there anything else, or shall we close the session here because we are good with the time also? On my side, I think we we can close the session. If everybody, if anybody is interested, of course, to to contact us, we have on the screen we have uh, our contact, and I believe that uh, BCCI will share the share the material with the with the audience uh, after the after this conclave. So, again, you are warmly welcome to contact us for further information and more detailed questions and we'll be very happy to to detail more uh, this solution with you yes any queries we receive from our stakeholders members and audience here we will connect them with the speakers thank you thank you mr sejan park uh, dr manuel theodet and mr shitish chitrans for joining us and sharing the courier's k quarantine ict solution 2020 so our next session, which would be a panel discussion on role of technology in care, caution, prevention in normal life, will be held at 4.30 